What's up YouTube, Khalil here, and I got the McDonald's mug bang ready for you. Got some barbecue sauce, got some Sprite, got a, uh, I think it's a filet, filet o fish, filet o fish sandwich, got some McNuggets, got the McDouble baby. Look at this baby, look at this baby, bro. This baby is beautiful, hold on y'all. I'm gonna get y'all up close, up close and personal to the baby. Look at that juiciness, bro. Look at this, this big ass, nice ass burger. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, look at it, look at it. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I am freaking hungry. Let's eat, man. I got some of your advice questions uh, ready to go. First, we're gonna start with this beauty right here. This beauty right here. Oh yeah, let's do it. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah, bro. I haven't eaten all day. And this being the first thing I taste is... Mmm. 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 -hmm. Bro. Comment below what y'all mess with more, McDonald's or In-N-Out. I love, I love McDonald's, dog. We got this barbecue dipping boy. I'm gonna choose McDonald's, yo. The bun is sweet. The burger is great, you know what I mean? Don't cringe if I'm eating everything at the same time. I love tasting everything. I never finish off one thing and then head to the next. I eat everything in a bunch. This is beautiful crispy nugget, dog. Look at that. Mmm, let me spread it open for y'all. Look at that, all that white meat. So good, dude. So good. Mm. Mm. Let's try this beautiful, beautiful Sprite. <laughs> Woo! Great. <clears throat> this messy burger is a little messy. Mmm. Mmm. So good. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna get to the advice questions. See what you guys got for me. So, this is from one of my followers. I'm not gonna say their name there. Every, every, anytime you guys send me advice, I never put the name out. I always keep it anonymous. So, with that being said, let's get in. Hey, Khalil. Okay, so I got kicked out and been living with my, my best friend, or as a boyfriend, and his family ever since they've been feeling it's boyfriend. Ever, 
Ever since. They've been feeling some way towards me for some time, but been in my face being fake. I literally have nowhere else to move to, but I really want to continue living there. Shake my head. I just feel like I'm stuck. Alright. So, you got kicked out of your family's house. You live with your boyfriend. Family is fake in front of your face. Like, oh, hey. How you doing? But really, they're like, who the heck this girl is mooching off me? Mm. <clears throat> Family is fake, but they're like, who the heck is this person mooching off us? Or just being like, why are they in our space? We don't really want them here. Um, and that's the honest truth. If I had a son or daughter, brought home someone, wanted to live in my family, you know what I mean? I don't know if you paid bills or nothing, but you ain't gonna be mooching off me if you ain't my kid, you know? I didn't have another kid for a reason, you know what I'm saying? So. So my advice to you was, is, I know you want to continue staying there, I know you want to continue living there. If you're old enough, stay there and live there for about two, three more months, you know what I mean? Get a job for them two, three months. I don't know if you're paying right there or not, but if you're not, this is perfect. Stack up that bread that you're working for. Get your own apartment. Them three months that you stacked up that bread should pay for moving in, moving your furniture, and an extra month on top of that to get yourself caught up. You know what I mean? Stack up for three months, four months, and get the heck out. You know what I mean? Never be anywhere in a space that you're not wanted or you feel like the energy is fake. Because first of all, it messes up your vibe, messes up your emotion daily. You know what I mean? You're always trying to dodge and hide, hide everywhere and not see them much. You know what I mean? Because you know they don't mess with you like that. They might like you, but they don't like living with you. So... And my advice to you is stack up that bread, get out, and if you're old enough and he's old enough, uh, he can come live with you too if he really wants to live with you. Or you both can stack up for them three, four months. And, and that's, and the good thing about that is, not only will you stack up, but he'll be stacking up as well, so y'all can pay probably three months off, or, four, or three months off for rent, or two months off for rent, and be set, living comfortably, stacking up, you know what I mean? And that's my advice to you. Mooch off as much as you can, but also have your own. Stack your own so you can get your own. I know I'm just in that, uh, that filetto fish, by the way, y'all. I know. I know. And nothing beats McDonald's fries. Like, oh my god, these fries, bro. So good, man. I don't know if your McDonald's hooks it up, but my McDonald's hook up these fries, dog. <laughs> nice and icy. All right. <laughs> Head on to the next, next device. know hey Khalil how do you know if someone likes you <clears throat> let me get a bite of this filet of fish boy beautiful 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 look at that oh oh I already know this is gonna be bomb I already know it let's take that good bite mmm mm-hmm 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 <laughs> In my opinion, they'll either be straight up or they'll show obvious hints. Now, if you're not getting the obvious hints, maybe you can nudge towards throwing hints at them to see if they like you back. You know what I mean? 
<clears throat> or you'll never know. You'll never know unless you try. If you really like them, tell them you like them. You know what I mean? Be straight up. If y'all just started talking or just started hanging out and chilling, not too soon. Maybe a little while after chilling alone. Don't go on your friend zone or nothing, but start asking them for advice then. And that's my advice to that. I'm sorry, these nuggets, bro. Tore up these nuggets. So, the next one is, I want some relationship advice. My boyfriend and I have a long history and have both done things to lose some trust in, one, uh, in the other. But we both decided to work through it. However, I feel as though I'm putting my all into the relationship and his actions don't match his words when it comes to showing that he cares about being with me, especially because he wants to keep us on the low and in the cut. How do you think I should handle the situation? I go about talking to him and things I'm worried about. Your help would be greatly appreciated. Um, <clears throat> It's a difference between keeping your relationship private and keeping the person you're in a relationship with private. I can keep my relationship private, but people are going to damn sure know I date my girl and people are going to know... She damn sure she dates me, you know what I mean? Or, you know what I mean? It's, it's weird, you know what I mean? You don't want other people to know that y'all date. I mean, it's cool not putting y'all relationship all over social media and um, announcing what y'all doing today, you know? Going to the park with babe, going here with babe. But, like, nah, don't do not do that secret. If he got to keep y'all secret, then it's not worth it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, dog. I bit my lip. I took her. I know y'all caught that on video. But, yeah. Don't let nobody keep you a secret, girl. Keep it on low my ass. <laughs> but if you really do trust him, and you really think that... It's worth it. Then, then go ahead and do it. You know, I'm not, I'm not one to tell you to get out of a relationship or not. I know you probably really like this person. My question to you is, do you want to show your relationship as much as he does? I mean, like, do you want to show your relationship? Hey, why y'all still watching this? Comment down below what's your favorite food at McDonald's to get. And what's your favorite fast food restaurant? Yeah. Woo! I am getting full. I cannot lie. All this fast food. I am gonna have to hit the gym after this. <laughs> you can um spoil yourself with fast food, guys. Just make sure you're keeping fit and going to the gym. If you don't feel like going to the gym and working out, lifting weights, not everybody feels like doing that. Some people just like, you know what I mean? To chill, relax. Put on some headphones. This is what you can do. Put on some headphones, buy a treadmill and walk and listen to music or watch a movie. Or go outside, get some fresh air, some vitamin D, the sun's out. And walk and listen to an ebook or a watch a movie while you're walking with your phone. But watch yourself while crossing the street, please. I don't need no accidents and people blaming me and then I'm getting sued because I told your kid or yourself to. <laughs> Never mind, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, y'all. I am full off the bull. <laughs> I am actually going to end that right here. And, um, yeah, man. No food is wasted ever. Definitely will eat, be eating the rest of this tonight. I never waste food, guys. Just for the, so pe for the people who are like, he wastes food, blah, blah, blah. He didn't even eat it all. Like, I had the Domino's pizza video. You guys were like, he didn't even eat it all. I ate it all. Trust me. As soon as I went to, was about to go to bed. Heated me up some pizza and got it to work. All right, child, your boy is full. Last little up close bite. I'm gonna dip that. Ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Love y'all.
subscribe to this channel. My social network links are on the description below. More food videos coming. Follow me on Instagram down below, description. Peace out.